Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. This is the next title in the series where they take a very athletic hedgehog and a tubby plumber and see how they would each do in an Olympic event. I'm not a big fan of the Summer Olympics as there is no curling and I have no time for an Olympics without curling. That being said, the events chosen were both great and underwhelming. The thing that I find most frustrating about the title is that there's nothing unique about it. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games, which was the previous Olympic Summer Games that they were in, had a fun feel to it which felt like you were playing a Mario type game. Colorful, fun, crazy adventures. This felt like a generic Olympic game with Mario and Sonic characters tacked on. Now there are over 15 events to play, with three of them being dual versions of them, but I'll get to that. There were missing sports in here, which would have made more sense with Mario and the gang, like golf for one. Basketball's another one that makes no sense that it's not here. In its place is table tennis and equestrian. Ooh, horse events. That's gonna bring in the masses, Nintendo. I played each of these events at least three times, and most of them were easy enough to get down. I think the triple jump and the javelin were the most confusing to control, as they needed you to press different buttons at different times. But most of the time, the controls were easy to understand. All the events looked good in HD, but the explanation of the events, especially in the longer games, needed way more depth. As a person who's never played Rugby 7, it was a little confusing. My favorite event was Archery, as it took some skill and had the most variety. Boxing was good too, as it was more skilled than I expected, because you needed to know when to block and when to do different kinds of punches. I would have dropped the 100 meter race, as it only lasted a few seconds. And really, if you want to, you could do the 100 meter relay if you really wanted to play a running event. Taking that out, you could have added in weightlifting, fencing, or even diving. There are plenty of playable characters to choose from. Or you could play as your me. You can get costumes that you can win or buy that will affect your character's stats. Now, like I mentioned before, there are dual versions of three of the games. Soccer, Rugby 7, and Beach Volleyball. The whole point is to do as many cheap moves, illegal power-ups, and use as many cheating attack items. And every time you do one of those things, you get points. And these points only count if you can score. So basically, the game is rewarding you for beating <laughs> the other team. This mode sucks, and it feels tacked on. You can actually compete in events in the Olympics where you go up against other characters. There's qualifying, semifinals, finals, but they keep bringing you back to the beach in between matches. Why not let you finish out the event? It's not like you could switch between events. You have to finish or forfeit before you can even start up another game. So why not just give you the option to keep going? There are different modes you can unlock if you play the Olympic events. Like Hero Showdown, where you have to choose to play either for Team Mario or Team Sonic, and also being able to use your amiibos. These modes are locked until you get all gold in the single events, or 25 medals. This should have just been unlocked from the start, and it's frustrating that it's not. Though I did like the way they had unlockable characters, and you can find them by doing events. Like this alien who sees me doing well in boxing and decides to fight me for some reason. I guess to see who's the best intergalactic fighter. There's a beach world hub, and I kind of like this. You can walk around the beach and access the item shop, the Miiverse, single player events, ghost matches, and so on. You can talk to the other players to learn about their countries and get their respective flags for your collection. Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games was okay. I've never been a big fan of the Summer Olympics, but the events they had to offer were alright. I wish they had added in some of the more interesting events the Olympics had to offer, like fencing, golfing, and sailing. It feels like a step down from the experience that we had with the Wii version in 2012. I don't know if it's because the Wii U isn't as popular as the Wii, and they didn't put the same amount of effort into it, or if they just didn't care. But I will say you should just skip this game. And find a copy of Mario and Sonic at the 2012 London Olympic Games if you're really itching to play a Summer Olympic game. Well that's my review of Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Once check out my last review of Minecraft or my classic review of Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. You can always follow me at Twitter for the latest updates and news about my channel and I really thank you guys for watching.